So guys, we're going to discuss security token offering and how we can search for the new security tokens that are on offer. So first of all, we want to come up to here and type in stoscope.com. Now this will take you to this website. So on the top left chart, you've got the STOs. So we've got 86. We've got one that is upcoming, main sale and funded. And you've got all this type of stuff here, calendar, blog, services. And if you're signing, you can do your own watch list. So if anything happens on the STO that you're watching, you can go on and check. So the thing I like about this one is the industries that it's in. So can you remember how we're saying blockchain technology is going to take over the manufacturing, healthcare, logistics, finance? Well, the STO list here are guiding you to show you which industries. So as you can see here, there's a lot of industries that the STO sto list is involved in so one of these or most of these are going to be very successful so if you want to finance if, if you've got your own little niche you can go in and search for some of these so my little niche is real estate because i used to be in real estate and I, i've got property myself so i want to see what's going on so this is a student accommodation in nottingham it's fun if you see the the blue Dot their funded profile, invest in real estate, profile 74, 45. So we can look through these. You can look through more if you want. Calendar, main seal starting for smart chain. That's another one. Profile 90% industrials, technologies, telling you what it's about. So with me being in property myself, I like this the look of this. So real estate for the digital age. Uh, age. It looks fast, looks quite fascinating to me. So as we go in the description so resolute fund offers investors the opportunity to invest in diversified US real estate fund managed by professionals with a share class that investors can buy sell or hold any time insurance platform swarm fund all the legals so it's from New York this one founded in May 2019 restricted areas so there's all the restricted areas asset class real estate token rights dividends and equity ownership so remember we're discussing about the the tokens that actually mean something it's backed by a tangible assets so you've got dividends and equity ownership of that token the token details blockchain ethereum token type erc20 and you have the sto price so one dollar equals one res the minimum goal and the fundraising goal so he has the guys involved Andy Strott, John Leiden, Thomas Herman and and so on so up on here on the over on the left you can see we've got the white paper now remember we we'll always look at the white paper so we'll have a little look what's what's their philosophy what what are they up to what do they want to achieve so we'll just go through why invest so there you go our philosophy a diversified portfolio of real estate managed by professionals can lead to optimal risk, adjusted returns, and so on. So I would go into all this. I would have a look through and see if it makes any sense. You can see Andy Strock coming up again. And you can see their experience. So 30 years mortgage experience. Tom Herman's uh, CTO, because he's, he's obviously the blockchain expert, so he's probably collaborated with them guys. Uh, Jing Yu, she's a partner and she's a cross-border blockchain and accounting professional so there's a team there that's trying to achieve something so it goes on further on I don't know how far you want to go into this but I would go in deep and see if there's any discrepancies or anything that are coming to play so sample past investments so that's a good sign I would look into that look into all these details yeah but don't get blamed by all the fancy stuff. So this is going to describe you what they do. So yeah, the white paper looks half decent. Uh, it's ranked 19th. Uh, the last 24 hours up 80%, which is significantly good for 24 hours. But over seven days in the months, it's down 9.3. But if it's a strong company, you, you don't worry about the month. You worry about what it's going to be like in over the years. So over here... Yeah, as a site you can click on and obviously that's what we're going to do uh, I am going to click on let's go to their LinkedIn page let's see see what we can find 
so Resolute Fund, it's got 64 followers, so that's a little bit disappointing. I would expect to have a lot more, especially with it being out in 2018. So they might not really use LinkedIn as much as other websites. Or see here, 64 followers, about, yeah. So you'd go into this, uh, there are no jobs right now, people. So yeah, that's a little bit disappointing, but let's go and check. I'm not really a fan of the Telegram at the moment. So Resolute, how many followers they've got? They've got 236 tweets, but they've got more, they're following more people than are following them, so I would want that the other way around. I want more people following Resolute Fund. They are meant to be the predominant token, so you want people following them, and they are following other people. So that's a little bit of a kick in the backside. So what was his name? Andy Strott. So let's have a look. Andy Strott. Yeah, there he is. So let's have a look. So he's got over 500 connections. Resolute Fund, there it is on his, on his page. We've got six mutual con connections. So founder, April 2018. So if I'm mistaken, I thought it said May 2019. So look, uh, there's a little discrepancy there. I don't know if it's me, but the founder date on here is May 2019. Founded CEO resolution is April 2018. So there's a little bit, that's a year that's taken out of the game. So there's the, the first little dig. So that's something that I would look at and that would sort of put me off. So that would be me away. But moving forward, if there's anything that you are interested in, you would do the same. So if you wanted to go into blockchain and have a look at anything that you, you might be fascinated in, you would just do the same. You've got, oh, this one looks good. 80, that one's ended. Main sale, block port. And you would just do the same. You would do, visit the website, go through all there, and just do some research. And then you can get a better understanding. Are you going to invest in this company? And you just do the same, scrolling through, go back onto their LinkedIn pages and find, the more clues you find, the more clear you are before you make a decision so i did i hope you did find this uh, valuable moving forward and hope it's brought some sort of sense to how to look for stos so thanks for looking in guys and i'll speak to you soon